to India next, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi is beginning his third term in office after being sworn in following recent elections. Losing his party's outright majority in parliament will test Modi at home. But international challenges aren't going away either. Two countries shaping those pressures are Russia and China. DW takes a closer look. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi begins his third term facing one of India's greatest challenges in decades, an aggressive and assertive China. Beijing has been flexing its muscles, influencing India's neighbours. China has also been pushing on its borders with India and moving more aggressively in the Indian Ocean. Ambitions that threaten New Delhi's security and spheres of influence. It has also steadily expanded its Belt and Road Initiative. This development project in the port city of Gawadar, in India's traditional rival Pakistan, is one of many Chinese projects. China has started to increase its influence in the Indian Ocean region from uh, PLAN uh, naval vessels to bases to um, exercises and operations in India's uh, traditional sort of area of influence. So um, it certainly, I think, is occupying a lot more mental national security space of, of India, and I think will be the, the challenge that India has to focus on the most um, over the next uh, several decades. Experts argue China's threat forces Modi to play a balancing act between powerful regional player, Russia and the West. Despite being a strong ally of the West in the Indo-Pacific, India has refrained from condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Indian Prime Minister has met with Vladimir Putin several times since 2014. Moscow is also an important economic and defence partner. But as India strengthens its defence ties with the US and other Western allies, experts predict that its relationship with Russia may decline in the future. For the short to medium term, we're not going to see India severing that relationship. Uh, and for that to change, I think you know a key watch point would be for it would be, for instance, what position would Russia take in future hostilities between China and India? For uh, Russia has historically taken quite a neutral role or a neutral position. But if it were to decide to side with China over India, I think that would clearly change India's strategic calculations towards uh, Moscow. India's economic and diplomatic cloud has so far allowed Modi to navigate relationships with the global powers. But he will have to tread a careful path as India faces an ever-growing threat in the region. Joining me now for more is journalist and author Mano Joshi. He's also a distinguished fellow at the Observer Research Foundation, a New Delhi-based think tank. Manoj, External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar last year called ties with China abnormal. Will they normalize in this Modi term? Well, you know, uh, they will normalize if China is ready to normalize the situation in eastern Ladakh. There are two, still two places which China has established a blockade and does not permit India to patrol up to uh, the extent of its claims. So what happened in 2020 uh, is casting a long shadow. And I think India is very clear that unless there is status quo ante as of April or uh, March 2020, uh, there, will not, there will not be full normalization. So the initiative lies with China. It depends on whether China takes any further steps or not. Well, uh, the Chinese want to, they say that they want to separate what's happening in the border uh, with the normalization of relations. But that's simply not possible. The border has become very central. It's a disputed border. And what they did in 2020 <coughs> was in violation of all the uh, measures that the two countries have been devising since 1993 to maintain peace and tranquility on the border. So what happened in 2020 was a destruction of trust that existed between the two countries that they would gradually move towards uh, settling, resolving their border dispute. Now there is a big question mark, and that question mark remains. And unless and until uh, that is settled, I think you know the issue. Uh, you can, you uh, there will be a process of rebuilding trust, uh, which has not even begun as yet. 
Meanwhile, India continues to maintain good relations with uh, Moscow. Is the hope there that Moscow will side with Delhi in any future conflict or disagreement with Beijing? My own feeling is that Moscow also being a Eurasian power uh, is not going to give uh, China a pass uh, on India issues. Meaning they, they, they will also carefully hedge and there are uh, uh, good reasons for them. They also have a very extensive land border with China. Uh, they're not entirely, I mean, right now, for a variety of reasons, uh, they have gotten closer to China, but they remain close to India as well. And we, uh, in fact, uh, because of the oil trade, uh, our trade has in, uh, actually uh, been enhanced by, uh, you know, almost uh, 10, 50 times, uh, 10, uh, 10, 20 times uh, what it used to be uh, in the past. So I think that Moscow will also uh, hedge. They will not take a clear-cut stand uh, on this issue. Uh, they also have long-term interest in good ties with India, just as India has long-term interest in uh, stable and good ties with uh, Russia. And how crucial will India's strategic partnership uh, with the United States be as India navigates these challenging relationships in its neighborhood? Well, you know, unlike many other countries, uh, the United States is not a military ally of India. India does not depend on the United States for its military security. It's quite capable of dealing with that itself, whether it is on the in, in the Indian Ocean or whether it's across the Himalayan frontiers. But what India does depend uh, on the U.S. is the uh, playing the role of a global balancer, global and regional balancer where friendship with the United States uh, helps India a great deal. We'll uh, leave it there for the moment. But thanks so much uh, for joining us today. Manoj Joshi from the Observer Research Foundation speaking to us from Delhi. Thanks so much.